I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's webcast. Gary Stearman is with me today, and we're going to talk about the rebuilding of the temple. Gary, we've got an exciting article here from Headline News, Israel Today. Absolutely. And of course, everybody who is watching the, the fulfillment of prophecy, the return of Israel, has that little marker sort of built into their calculation. Israel has to rebuild the temple according to many prophecies. In fact, uh, J.R., before you read that news item, let me just read uh, from the book of Acts, chapter 15. And this is when they were having the first discussions in the early church about how they should uh, uh, characterize the church. Should the church keep the law or not? And we read here <clears throat> uh, a, a statement from James. After they had held their peace, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken to me. Simeon hath declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. And to this agree the words of the prophets, as it is written. And here he quotes Amos chapter 9, verses 11 and 12. And he says, After this I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down, and I will build again the ruins thereof. And I will set it up, that the residue of men might seek after the Lord, and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called, saith the Lord, who doeth all these things. Now, this is a prophecy. James utters it, J.R., and given an item that's in the news right now, this becomes a very interesting prophecy. Yes, it does. Which means that Jesus is coming soon. Now, uh, you know that the Antichrist has to have a temple where he can go in and commit the abomination of desolation. That's a given. Yes. So listen to this news. Headline news, will the third temple be built next year? According to a centuries-old rabbinical prophecy that appears to be coming true, on March 16th, 2010, Israel will begin construction of the third temple in Jerusalem. During the 18th century, that's the 1700s. The Vilna Gaon, a respected rabbinical authority, prophesied that the Herva Synagogue in Jerusalem, which was built during his day, would be destroyed and rebuilt twice. And that when the Huva was completed for the third time, construction on the third temple would begin. Well, the Herva Synagogue was destroyed first, shortly after its initial construction, when the Muslims demanded uh, the return of loans, and uh, they, the Muslims tore it down. The synagogue was rebuilt a hundred years later and became the most important Jewish house of worship in the Holy Land, only to be blown to pieces by the Jordanian troops during Israel's 1948 War of Independence. Well, in 2001, Israel finally decided to rebuild the landmark, which today stands in the center of the Jewish quarter in Jerusalem's old city. The building is scheduled to be completed in the Herva Synagogue, dedicated for the third time on March 15th of next year. That's amazing, Gary. Yes, it is. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that the Vilna Gaon had the ability to prophesy, but his prediction, we should call it perhaps a prediction, has been taken seriously for all these centuries. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> the, so the Jews believe that when that Herva Synagogue is finished, then they will begin to build the temple. Now, J.R., there is once again a Sanhedrin in operation. That is a Jewish ruling council which had not been uh, officially uh, in operation for centuries. And now the Sanhedrin is back in operation. One of their first acts of business was to, uh, I guess you could say, to certify the, the possibility of the rebuilding of a prefabricated temple. And I understand that they could put one together very quickly, uh, a, a sort of temporary temple on the Temple Mount. But the fact that there is such a thing as a Sanhedrin now in existence with plans for a new temple makes all of these things come to life to me. Yes. And we learned just recently that out at Mizpah, east of Jericho, down near the Jordan River, uh, the religious Jews, the Temple Institute, etc., are building a replica of the temple in order to train the priesthood. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? That is. And the brazen altar they've built with stones out of the Jordan River, rivers, river rock. 
And they say that that, that brazen altar that they're building will eventually be dismantled and taken to Jerusalem and will become the brazen altar at a new temple that they will build on the Temple Mount. Now, we don't know when this will happen. And I can tell you that the Jews themselves think that the Messiah is going to build a temple when he comes. So, in order to restore temple liturgy and temple ritual, I think they will build this temporary tabernacle. And J.R., there may be grounds for uh, looking at Ezekiel chapters 40 through 48 and seeing a temporary temple. Because Ezekiel, Ezekiel 40 through 48 uh, is a distinctly Latter-day prophecy that begins with a description of the temple that looks an awful lot like today's Temple Mount, but then it goes on into the future when Messiah rebuilds the temple. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? It is. <laughs> well, I want to offer you on today's weekend broadcast uh, the prophetic psalms. Uh, this is a DVD where I preach before a live audience at a prophecy conference in uh, Florida. And uh, I want to send it to you for a gift of any amount to help us with our new television studio. You've seen the furniture. You've seen the various parts of it. But we have some electronic equipment that we need to buy now. And we'd like to invite you to help us have a, have a part in, in purchasing that. Uh, I talked to the people today about the three recorders that we need, and we can get them for our $2,500 a piece. Isn't that wonderful? And then the, the little uh, device that will take the uh, signal out of our cameras and make it uh, possible to record, uh, they cost $500. So we're talking $3,000 a piece, $9,000 for those three pieces of equipment. And then we have a few other things to buy as well. So it's not going to run $30,000 like I thought it might. But whatever you can do, if you can give $10, $20, $50, $100, $1,000, or whatever you want to give, ask for the Prophetic Psalms DVD when you give your offering to help us at this time. Now, during this Christmas season, of course, I'm sure Jesus is at the head of your gift list. And uh, so... If, if you'd like to help us with a designated offering for uh, the electronic equipment we need to go with 16 by 9, 16 pixels wide, 9 pixels high. It's a different format than the old television picture that you're looking at now, which is 4 pixels wide and 3 pixels high. Now I say maybe 400 pixels wide by, four, by 300 pixels wide, whatever it is. Anyway, the ratio is 4 to 3. But the new ratio of high-definition television is 16 by 9. Our cameras are capable of that, but our recording equipment is not. So, we've got to buy these few extra pieces. We've got to buy a third camera. We've got the money for the third camera, but we need, we're going to buy a little jib that goes with it, and that'll run another 5000 So, whatever you can give will help us. And when you call to give, just ask for the prophetic psalms when you make your donation to Prophecy in the News. Gary, it's been a good day today. It has been a good day, and we're excited about uh, 2010 and working in this new studio. Thanks for your gifts and offerings which have made this possible. Pray for us as we go forward into what I believe, J.R., are going to be very, very significant prophetic days. Yes. Now, if you didn't get your uh, DVD, and you thought you had ordered it, but it hadn't come yet. If you want to check on it, just call our office Monday through Friday, weekdays from 9 to 5, okay, Central Time. And tell them that you'd like to get the prophetic Psalms. Uh, because without you telling us, we won't know to send it to you, all right? If you give a donation to help us uh, with this television studio, and you'd like to get the prophetic Psalms, call. We don't mind you calling. We want to send it to you. Just call and tell us you've given a, a donation. You'd like to get these, this DVD lecture. I'm J.R. Church with Gary Stearman. God bless you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again Monday with our webcast.